Hey Thor, are you in the kitchen? Yeah? Can you bring me a cup? I'm upstairs. Yeah, sure. One moment. Oh, have you ever found yourself in a situation like this? Well, I got the solution for you today. <laughs> okay guys, welcome back. Okay, so we did the poll and uh, two thirds of you voted for uh, going over to a kitchen organizing series. So I figured for today's video we will start with something uh, really fun and that is to organize all the plastic bags in your kitchen. So there are a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you could uh, fold the plastic bags as well as some storage options that uh, we can find out which one suits you best. I'm also going to talk a little bit about some alternatives uh, later in the video. So I think we're just going to jump in and do some folds, uh, get warmed up again, right? There are essentially two main ways that you can fold the bags if you just want to keep them uh, maybe in some type of container like this one. Uh, what you would do is to place them inside, right? Keep an open lid container or a lid that you could easily remove so you can just pull them in and out. Uh, we're gonna go over alternatives later, but for now, uh, these methods would be best for that. All right, so the first way you could fold your plastic bag, if you're just really lazy and you don't wanna spend time on this, you just wanna throw it away. You know, you don't want to, it to take up a lot of space. Just gonna add it in here for fun. The next one is a lot cooler. So you just wanna start by taking the handle and just scrunching it in all the way like this. Once you, once you reach the bottom, fold the sides in as well. And then you can just continue to fold it in on itself until you reach the top. And then you take the handle, fold it over once, and you can fold it over the rest of the bag. All right, so you can see this is gonna be kind of crumbly um, and wrinkly. So I do recommend the next method, but this one is nice if you're just in a hurry and you're just gonna use it as a trash bag anyway. All right, so to make the triangle, we're gonna start out by folding the plastic bag over in half, like so. From here, I'm gonna fold it in half one more time. Now I like to fold it to make sure that the actual handle is on the underside, especially for these size, uh, sizes of bags. So yeah, like this. So from here, we're gonna turn the plastic bag around like this, and we're gonna start uh, making triangles from the bottom up towards the top. So what you wanna do is that you're gonna take the plastic and you're gonna fold it over until you reach the edge on the other side like this. You can give it a nice little fold if you want it to be a little bit more stable. And then the next step is to fold it up once towards the top like this. And then we're gonna fold it over to the side like this. And we're just gonna keep going until we reach the top where the handle is, like this. So once you reach the part with the handle, uh, you may wanna lift it up a little bit. Uh, and you're gonna take the handle here, and you see this first fold at the top of the plastic bag? Open that up, and we're gonna stuff the handle inside here. Now this is gonna lock uh, the entire plastic bag together, and it's gonna be quite sturdy. And like you can see, it creates a lot less wrinkles than the, this ugly thing. <laughs> now it does take a little bit more time, but it is a great way to keep uh, plastic bag bags nice if you're gonna use them for something. You know, these I would generally use for trash bags, while these could be reused for something else. Anyway, uh, a good way to store these plastic bags is to keep them in a container. I'm just gonna use this as an example because I'm actually using another system that I will show you in a little bit. Uh, anything, a bowl or uh, whatever. You could even actually place it inside another plastic bag and then scrunch it together afterwards. So, another really cool way to store your plastic bags. Now I'm gonna admit that I found this on Pinterest. So I don't really use this method myself, but it is so cool that I wanted to show you. I know some of you probably like this type of do-it-yourself and all that. So uh, yeah, this is uh, essentially uh, a dispenser for plastic bags so you could pull it out however many you need <laughs> I've seen people put these in Pringles can Pringle cans and then I cut the, the lid uh, an opening in a lid and I just pull out the plastic bags <laughs> um, yeah so I want to show you how to do this as well so in order to make this little uh, dispenser of plastic bags here we're gonna start out with a plastic bag laying flat down like this uh, and we're gonna fold it in half one time and then one more time, like so. So you're gonna have to do this with every single plastic bag. Um, 
I have already pre-rolled them, so you don't need to sit and watch me do it over and over again. So for the first bag, uh, I like to fold it over like this. This gives us a little bit of something to pull out of for the first bag. Uh, anyway, take one more plastic bag and place it uh, towards the end of the first one. And then we're just gonna start rolling. Now you can roll it pretty tight if you have tons of plastic bags. Uh, if you just have a few, you know, it's quite easy to squeeze them together, so you don't need, really need to roll it super tight. But a little bit of tightness can um, can be helpful. So once you reach this point, we're going to take the next, next plastic bag. And we're just going to keep rolling like this all the way up until we make it to the part with the next one. Now, one thing I want to mention when you're doing this, uh, you, you need to keep constant... Uh, Keep your hands constantly down at the roll, otherwise it's going to unravel really easily. As you can see, when we roll it up here, towards the part where the... the, the what's it called? Like the part where it's uh, connected together. This, is, this little flop here is going to flip up. So you need to make sure that you hold on to that as you're rolling. Just keep rolling like this and add new plastic bags all the way up towards the top like this and this is my last one so i'm just going to do it here on camera for you guys and here we go so you see you have this nice little dispenser you could place this into anything uh pringle cans uh yeah looks like a great example i'm just going to use this uh, little jar here uh <laughs> because that's what i had on hand right now so you just place it in here and you're gonna see once I let go, it's gonna expand a little bit. Actually, not so much. <laughs> so if you have some kind of lid on top of it, you could easily uh, make a hole in it and then it would be really easy to just pull the plastic bags out one by one. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is my personal favorite uh, way to store plastic bags. This is how I do it. It's the easiest way, it's uh, the most, um, well, I think it's the most decorative way you can be, you can judge for yourself. All right, so my favorite way to store plastic bags is actually to use something like this. Uh, I just call it the wife hair. Uh, it's a nice uh, woman, a little bit uh, chubby maybe. But uh, so the way that these are used is that you have uh, an area here in the back where you can stuff the plastic bags inside. So you don't really need to uh, fold them or anything, it's fine to just scrunch them in to the top. And then when you need to use them, you can quite easily just pull them out from the bottom like this. And as you can see, since you put them, up, them in to the top over and over again, you don't need, really need to organize them since you just pull them out from the bottom and it's not the same one that you pull out like in some of the other methods that I've shown you. So yeah, and on top of that it's really nice that uh, uh, it's a very attractive and decorative uh, wife hair as well. So let's jump back to the studio. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, this this is probably the easiest way that you could store your plastic bags, right? Uh, it's very easy, you don't really need to fold them, easy to stuff in, easy to pull out from the bottom, uh, compared to something like this, where you would need to pretty much scrunch them together, otherwise it's gonna be a mess, right? And you can only pick it out from the top, uh, yeah. So definitely recommend using that system. Uh, by the way, for any of these products that I mentioned, I'm gonna add uh, Amazon links. Uh, if you wanna purchase any of this, I'd really appreciate it if you would use the link that I have added. It does give me a little bit of a commission to keep uh, investing time into this channel. So yeah, thanks to those of you who are uh, want to buy some of this stuff and have decided to use my link. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, of course, at no extra cost to you. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is something that's a little bit more environmentally friendly, and that is uh, these types of reusable plastic bags. So the reason that I mentioned this is because uh, whether you decide to invest in some of these or you just uh, want to supplement with them uh, in addition to your normal plastic bags, I mean, I know a lot of us use them as regular trash bags, so we do need some plastic bags, right? Um, but I've found that uh, investing in these uh, reusable ones can be good for your wallet as well as for the environment. So these are generally made of either polyester or nylon at times. They're very sturdy and can be reused a lot. I have a different version as here as well that I've been using for a few 
probably a year and a half, maybe two. Um, I'm green, <laughs> it says. I don't really like these ones as much as I do the regular, you know, classic reusable pla uh, shopping bags. But if you can find something like this, these are very sturdy as well. But the reason I prefer these ones is because you can generally get these little pouches. This is, uh, I guess I'm advertising for this Norwegian brand uh, now. This <laughs> shopping center brand. Anyway, um, yeah, so you could, you usually get this little pouch that comes with a bag. So it's very easy to stow this away. And once you put it all inside this little bag, uh, it's very easy to take this with you. Like this is so small that you could easily put it in your back pocket or, you know, in your purse or something, or just carry it in your hand into the store. Uh, and I, um, I do think that these do save you money over the long run because usually this cost like $2 or something per. And I don't know where you're from, but usually these small plastic, normal plastic bags do tend to cost like uh, in Norway they're, pretty, Norway, they're pretty expensive. They actually cost over 20 cents. But even if they're just 10 cents, uh, if you use this 20 times, you already paid for it. Uh, also, it, of course, it's a lot better for the environment. So if you don't really need these, these ones are great options. Uh, it does seem kind of weird once you get into it because sometimes you do forget to bring them into the store. But uh, generally, it's pretty easy to remember. I usually keep them laying in the car in the seat so it's easy to see them once I need to use them. So th these are a lot of good options. I do recommend for storing plastic bags that you get one of those uh, wipes, uh, the, the, the big ones. Uh, and also these ones are really nice. You can get these on Amazon as well. So yeah, this is uh, the first video in the big uh, kitchen organizing series. Oh yeah, and if this video was helpful to you, uh, maybe you could leave a thumbs up on the video. That would help out a lot. Thank you. Hey Thor, are you in the kitchen? Yeah. Can you bring me a cup? I'm upstairs. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs>